topic is type of attributes. So attribute describes the property of entities to which they are associated and the type of attributes are simple, composite, single value, multi value and right value. So total pass karate hai pas attributes hai a entity set. So let's start discussion one by one. So those attributes which cannot further divide it are called as simple attributes like row number. It cannot be further divided. Age of an employee cannot be further divided. It is simple attribute. But name can be divided into first name and last name. So it is a composite attribute. Similarly, date of joining can also be divided into or separate into day, month and year. So date of joining is also considered as a composite attribute. Single value and multi value. Every student has only one role number. Every student has a one father name and mother name. All these are single value attributes. But student can have multiple email ID. Student can have multiple mobile numbers. Student can have multiple skills. So email ID, mobile number, skills, hobby, all these are multi value attributes. Attribute can further be divided into stored and drive attributes. For example, age of a student can be derived from the date of birth. By subtracting the date of birth from system date, we can extract the age of the student. So here age is a derived attribute, by date of birth is a stored attribute. So those attributes which need to stored in the database are called as stored attribute and those attributes whose value can be derived or calculated from other attributes will be considered as derived attribute. So value, simple attribute like roll number, Composite like name, first name and last name, single value, roll number, name, class, multi value like hobbies, email IDs, mobile number, and drive attribute like date of birth. So these are the total five type of attributes. Now let's learn how to represent all those things in ER model. So as we have learned in the last session that ER model is a visual rep visual representation model. So everything is represented visually. It means that we should have some symbols to represent all those things. So the first common symbol is the rectangle which you use to represent the entity set. Then another symbol is oval symbol is attribute. If oval is underlined, we considered it as a key attribute. For multi-value attribute like hobbies, phone number, we have double oval sign. And if it is we have branches, then we considered it as a composite attribute. And if oval is uh, dotted, then it is symbol of type attribute. So I can conclude here that for entity we use rectangle, for attribute we use oval sign. If it is underlined, considered as key attribute. If it is uh, multi value attribute, represented with double ovals. For composite, we have some branches. And for drive attribute, it is represented with a dotted line. So now let us consider this case of. ER model. So now in this case customer is an entity set. Customer ID is the key attribute. Name is composite which has first, which can further be divided into first name, middle name and last name. Address is also composite which can be divided into street, city, state and zip code. Street can further be divided into street number, name and apartment number. Phone number, of course, it is a multi value attribute, date of birth, store value attribute, but age is derived because it is derived from date of birth. So, I hope that uh, with this particular figure, we are able to get the whole information about customer without writing a single line of text. So, this is the power of ER model that through pictures, we able to convey the information to the designer that this is the case of an organization where customer has these type of properties. 